On this rainy day, I decided I better read a book. While I'm reading, you might hear it raining in the background. You may even hear some thunder because we've been getting a little bit of kabooms in the sky. The book I chose today is about a little mouse. And the reason I chose this book is because yesterday I was trying to plant my flowers in my flower pot so I could put them out on my front porch. And there was this little kitty field mouse hiding in one of the flower pots. Well, after I saw him, he ran under the bushes and ran away to find a new home. But it sure startled me a little. So I thought, I'm going to find a book about a mouse and see what that book has to say. So this book is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Jaw Numeroff, and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. And here's the title page. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he's going to ask for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for papers and crayons, and he'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. with the pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that He's thirsty. So So he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie. To go with it. Well, wasn't that cute? I wonder if any of your moms and dads know of any little children that ask for 
a cookie, and then milk, and then a straw, and then a napkin, and then something else, and then something else, and then something else, and then it all starts over again. It was a cute story about a mouse, but it did remind me of my grandchildren. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.